changing the center of mass's motion. This is important and related to momentum. Is it possible then to change the motion of the system center of mass? So remember we had the cards, uh, the one at stationary and then the blue car came and crashed. Uh, the center of mass continued to move throughout the entire situation. Is it possible then to change the motion of the system center? Yes, but only with an unbalanced external force acting on one or more of these system's objects. If there's an unbalanced external force that acts on any object in the system, the center of mass will accelerate according to Newton's second law, A equals F, net F over M. Or the net external force equals total system mass times the acceleration center of mass. If we think about the forces acting on the carts as the carts collide, we have the red cart's weight balanced by the normal force. The blue cart's weight is balanced by the normal force. The blue cart pushes the red cart, and the red cart pushes the blue cart. Action-reaction pair. Blue pushes red, so red pushes blue, equal and opposite. So that's an internal force. There are no unbalanced external forces in this situation with the red car uh, crashing, blue car crashing into the red car. So the center of mass cannot change its motion. Look at this situation where the carts are connected by a spring and a constant green force acts on the red car. So maybe a tension force or something. Pink arrow represents the internal spring force on both carts. Note that the internal spring force is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction on each cart, making the spring force an action-reaction pair. When the spring force is high, the blue cart has a high rightward acceleration because the spring force is external to the blue cart. When the spring force is high, the red cart has a low rightward acceleration because the spring force partially cancels the green force applied and both forces are external to the red cart. So the net force in the horizontal direction for the red car is going to end up being to the right, but smaller. But the spring force is internal to the red-blue system, so that means the spring force can affect the acceleration of the system's center of mass. The green applied force is external to the red-blue system, so that means this applied force is part of the net force that will accelerate the system's center of mass. The, ex the net external force is a constant 2.4 newtons. The total mass of the system is 3 kilograms. Therefore, according to Newton's second law, the acceleration of the center of mass is 0 0.8 meters per second squared. Even though the spring makes the carts wiggle, the center of mass has a constant acceleration due to only this external force. 